Ashton, I don't know if you know this about me, but I love, love Jay Lee artwork. I own yeah. two pieces about by Jay Lee. I've been a big fan of his since his early Marvel stuff uh, in the X Factor days, way, way back in the 90s. Um, and it just so happens that uh, he has a new book out this week called Seven Sons. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's a collection, right? He, so this is like his first creator <gasps> own, creator own book in what right? Yeah, love that. creator own book in like a while. Like he's done career defining stints at Marvel at DC. Wow. Uh -huh. um, he's done a couple of things at Dynamite recently too. On top of that, this is a book that came out in single issues last year, and I kind of opted to like wait. Okay. So I'm getting the trade paper back because it's out today. Um, I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'm like yeah, it has it. it has religious overtones too, which mm -hmm. I did not. I, truthfully, I did not expect from Jay Lee, um, just because. Typically, his art is kind of gothic. Okay. And so I just didn't expect that from him. But the idea here is that basically seven individuals are positioned mm. to be crowned the son of God, Big G. And so basically, they're going to be the new Messiah. Um, and of course, Judgment Day is looming, uh, which kind of makes the push to crown someone as Ooh. Jesus, basically, very real. Yeah, and like, again, I just, his, like, I'm actually kind of looking at the cover art. Uh, for last previous issues, particularly this two here. Yeah. I'm kind of floored by how well religious imagery works for Jay Lee. Like, I just did not expect that. Because like I said, I just am so used to him right. doing something. He's done a lot of stuff for Stephen King's uh, Dark Tower, mm, okay. um, stuff like that. Got so, you know, it, just, yeah. you know, that, that, I guess that's what, American Gothic, I guess you can go in that for direction, sure. sort of. A lot of um, darker colors. A lot of darker sure. colors and stuff like that. That's kind of his thing. So, I mean, the, the use of white alone on that cover is actually a departure for him. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm looking forward to it, seeing more of this, and like, yeah, I'm gonna dive in because, yeah, not at all what I expected, but he was Jay Lee fan, mm -hmm. and I'm glad you had the reaction that I had to that cover, because I was like, oh, great. That floored me the moment I saw it. Absolutely. Uh, which, I mean, if you were gonna judge a book by a cover, that enough. There you go. That alone is enough to get me to pick it up. That's the one. But knowing what it's about, I love a Judgment Day story. Yeah, of course, right? <laughs> They're really like uh, like upsetting, but I guess they right, don't yeah. like that. Ultimately, they don't pan out, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Seven Sons, that's from Mims Comics this week in trade paperback form. Pick it up at your mm -hmm. local comic shop.